Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vinyl Vinyl Vlog. Today's video, if you are a Patreon, is brought to you today by you. And thanks to the Nuclear War Now sale, I finally found this bad boy. Abortifacient in the Crypt of Gore. Four tracks of some of the best death metal in the past couple years. And it is absolutely amazing, mysterious, and just awesome. Now, this is the only information that you get. There's four songs. They are amazing. We're listening to Humidity in the Crypt, which goes into lethargic decomposition. So, already, you're off to an amazing start. And then we have The Rotting Bomb, and then Catherine of Siena. And the only band information? In the Crypt of Gore. Written during February 2021. Nuclear War Now Productions. Hell yeah. Also, the LP was printed in Italy. I don't know if that has anything to do with where abortifacient is from, but in the Crypt of Gore, part of me has a feeling this is one of, well, an NVNM related project. I don't know. I'm just guessing based on the production. Like, it's just... It's just kind of got that old NVNM Dungeon with No End vibe to it. And the vibe alone is why Abortifacient rules so much with their form of disgusting early Cenotaph inspired death metal. Now, the hype sticker also claims shit rules. Abortifacient in the Crypt of Gore, 12-inch EP, so it's not demos, even sicker. Four tracks of disgusting underground death metal for fans of early Cenotech. And Ripakaloo. Now, definitely, there's some... Ripakalu vibes, and the vocals are very, very early Cenotaph. And I'm talking like 1990 uh, Tenebrous Apparitions, The Eternal Disgrace, The Rise of Excruciation, like the, the real sick shit. But, first off, I have been after Abortifacient in the Crypt of Gore since 2021. I know there's a CD version that's 28 minutes with, like, bonus tracks. I, I, don't, I don't know what those bonus tracks are, but... First off... Whoever, now, I don't know who shipped my order, but thank you. Hold on, this just... I just want to show you the color real quick. And I don't want to spoil too much of this. I really want you folks to check this out yourself. And this feels like at least 140 gram. It's... A pretty heavy-duty LP, especially for just being an EP. 
But 12 inches, honestly, is some of the sickest death metal, like, honestly, I can possibly tell you to check out. Because I would also say if you dig a board of fashion, then I'm guessing you already like the fetid demo, sentient pile. I'm guessing you already like Cerebral Rock. Especially this bad boy. Mortiferum, Altar of Decay. Sorry, I dropped something. But holy shit, we start things off with humidity in the crypt, lethargic decomposition, the rotting bomb, Katharina Sienna, and hell yes! Like, I've just been so stoked. To finally have a copy of this. But also, we have a viewer that lives up the street from this crypt. And that's awesome. Because he was like, yeah, the place is sick. Like, whoa. That rules. And I love, like, when bands use, like, film to shoot their covers. Like, the new Spectral Voice. Like, the cover of that is shot on, on film. It's a photo of Manifestor's sculpture. Like, that's badass. And I, you know, because the death is real, and that's a, that's a lot of death. And I really feel like a portofacient in the Crypt of Gore, one of those death metal releases that, to me, that hurt so bad. Ow. But they're one of the few death metal bands that legit, as soon as I first heard them, I was just like, like, wh wh what is this? And I stumbled upon them myself. Like, nobody was like, hey, check this out. So, hey, check this out. Abortifacient in the crypt of gore. Nuclear war now. Again, that's the only information I have. I, part of me wants to know, like, alright, who is behind this project? But the other part of me kind of wants it a secret. Because it's just so heavy and just fucking A. If there's still copies of Abortifacient in the Crypt of Gore on the Nuclear War Now sale or if you're into CDs and you can find that 28 minute version Yo, I'll send you a blank pro tape, and, uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll figure something out, I'll, I'll hook you up with something, but, I would love this on cassette, I know somebody did release this on cassette, because I've seen photos of it, or it's just a bootleg, but I swear I've seen a photo of this on tape. But if I'm wrong, I'm just thinking of something else. But I don't think I am. I'm pretty sure this was first released on tape. And if it was, I, I messed up by missing it. 
But I think it sounds great on vinyl. It's just heavy as fuck death metal for fans of heavy as fuck death metal. I mean, a lot of bands will say they sound like Ripple Kalu. Like I said, they actually they have parts where it's like, wow, that actually sounds like Ripple Kalu. But it's not like the same riff that everyone jocks. And like, it's the same with like Abhorrence. I feel like everyone jocks the Cult in a Vortex riff. And that's cool, but like, I like when I hear just like, like legitimately having that early Cenotaph vocal style. And not just like saying, well, I thought it sounded like that. Like, no, it actually has that early Cenotaph vocal sound. And that's awesome. So, this is the Dark Descent Crypt version. I was warned against another record label's version of this for multiple reasons, but the main reason of getting the Dark Descent Crypt version was getting the demos on vinyl. Because I have the Extremely Rotten comp, but just having these forever on vinyl, again, to me, it's some of the best death metal ever, and I'm not just saying that, like, it's just the type of death metal I really, really like, it's that really heavy, disgusting death metal, and Abortifacient just really nailed it. They nailed the coffin shut on in the Crypt of Gore. Four tracks of disgusting underground death metal. That says it all. So get into it. Abortifacient in the Crypt of Gore. Nuclear War Now. A fucking plus. Thanks for watching as always. You fucking rule. Especially if you're a patron and you made today's video possible. Wow. For all you death metal maniacs. Enjoy some abortifacient in the cryptogore. Thank me later. Thanks for watching. As always, fucking roll again. Peace. Yeah.